Well, first off, I'd just like to say that uh, that has uh, no no bearing on reality. So if you look at my case uh, as one example, the Russians took Paul Whelan hostage. Uh, they, when the U United States asked them to release him, they immediately asked for concessions to make an exchange um, to get something in exchange for Paul, and the United States refused to negotiate with them, which is what a lot of people are saying. Well, if you negotiate with them, then there's no reason why they should take Americans hostage. So the United States did not negotiate. They refused to negotiate to bring Paul Whelan home. And after that, the Russians took me hostage. At that point, the US government also refused to negotiate to get me home. And after that, they gave Brittany Griner a hugely disproportionate sentence, which was completely political. So. If you just look at that one example, um, I think you can see, anyone that is reasonable can see that you're refusing to negotiate with these governments does not guarantee that they're not going to take other hostages. And any of those governments that are already taking Americans hostage, they don't need an incentive to take Americans hostage. They're going to continue to do that. Their incentive for taking Americans hostages that they're Americans, and they can show that to their own citizens, that they've done that, they've spited the US, they've embarrassed us, and the United States can't do anything about that. That's enough for them. They don't need material concessions, a hostage, money. You know, If they can get those things, they will try to do that, but that's not going to stop them from continuing to take hostages. Absolutely, and um, you know, President Biden and his administration doing this, um, they've obviously done that because they thought that was the ethical decision to make. Uh, you know, President Biden and his administration are, are not fools. They knew that as soon as they did this, there was going to be harsh criticism of that administration. And this is, you know, quite soon before an election. Um, so I think that him doing that, that was probably rooted in his, his morals and his feeling that he needed to do what was right, uh, you know, over politics. Uh, you know, everyone handles that differently and goes through, you know, their own experience. But for me, um, you know, especially those first hours, they're just, uh, just incredibly surreal. You don't feel feel like it's real. You feel like, you know, maybe that's not happening. Maybe you're imagining that. Maybe you're dreaming that. Uh, and it takes a while for that kind of feeling to go away before you can start feeling, you know, actual real emotions.